remember you. I remember hey, you guys. That's fantastic. We like to hear that. Huge congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, a question for you about uh, Shang-Chi and Marvel. Do you think uh, for you as a filmmaker, you would have been interested in a Marvel movie if it hadn't been Shang-Chi? If they'd have offered you Iron Man 3, for example, or something like that, would that not have moved you in quite the same way, do you think? No, I don't think so. Is it this is very specific? This is what kind of drew this this story and this this character kind of was what drew you into. Yeah, I I mean I wouldn't have um, I don't think I would have even gone in for a meeting if it was. It's no offense to those movies because I love them, but I wouldn't it, it, where I wasn't in my career where I, it wasn't like I I wanted to do a giant Marvel movie. Um, I also don't think. I would have been the person to do Iron Man 4, you know, I, I, um, but when, when this particular character was announced and there were, I knew they were looking for directors, it, it just tapped into a piece of my childhood that was really difficult to ignore and so I, I knew I had to at least go in and have a conversation with them and it turned into me standing here on the blue carpet in London. <laughs> <laughs> and then Marvel have done such a good job, not just with their movies, but in terms of the people that make them. But Chloe Zhao with The Eternals coming out, so many other kind of people that have started independent movies. How, was the jump frightening at all? Or did, it, did they make it so that it was quite comfortable for you to go and make such a big movie after doing Short Term 12 and Just yeah, Mercy and all those kind of movies? I mean, it, it is frightening, um, but it, it's... You have all the support in the world in this with this studio. Um, you have all the tools in the world, and and there's a there's a real environment of, of true collaboration and um, and I'm side by side with like Chris Townsend, who's from from England. Chris Townsend, who's a VFX supervisor, who's who's teaching me all the things that I don't know that I've never done before, and. And standing next to Bill Pope and and, the, and these people, um, to it, it really did turn into a really fun experience where I felt like I was in film school with some of the best professors on earth. In terms of obviously with the pandemic and everything, a lot of the Marvel movies have had to go to Disney Plus and the streaming options as well as theatrical. How happy are you that this is going to be a theatrical only, or were you open to the the fact that because of how the world has changed in the last eighteen months, you just wanted people to see the movie however they chose? I mean, I, we we made this movie to see in theaters, so I'm excited that that people who want to watch it that way, who who can safely watch it that way, have a window to do that. Um, and then after that, then. The world can watch it on their iPhones if they want to. <laughs> yeah, and in terms of sequels, if it gets made, are you up for telling more stories? Just so such a rich history with this character. That yeah, yeah, I'd do a sequel. Yeah, yeah. fingers crossed. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.